Hey guys and welcome back to another Darkfall tutorial. In this video we're going to be looking at the new denoising feature that Blender 2.79 has. Um, as you, if you didn't already know, 2.79 was released a couple of days ago, so there's a link in the description if you want to go ahead and download that. So there's quite a few new uh, things that have been added to the new release. As you can see here we've got the new denoiser, PBR shader, shadow catcher, filmic colour management, faster rendering for AMD cards, loads of different things that have been added. Now we're going to be looking at this denoising feature here. But as you can see there's loads of different features that have been added. And if you want to go ahead and check this page out, I'll throw a link in the description as well. So you can see all the new add-ons and all the new features and things. Let's go ahead and download the new version. So that's okay for me, but if you want to change the system and the platform, you can go ahead and change that now and download. So once you've installed Blender, I'm just going to open up a previous project here. And normally I'd render the minimum of 200 samples, but I'm just going to drop this down to 50 for this, this example, make things go faster. Give this a quick render and see how it looks. So as you can see, with 50 samples, it's yeah, it's terrible. <laughs> it's a sample render. And if you zoom right in, you can see all these little this bit of noise. So everywhere, there's just noise everywhere. So normally you just bump up the samples, and it would take a lot longer. So I'm just going to change the slot. If I press number two on the keyboard, it'll change this to slot two. And if I press number one, it'll switch between them. So we can just compare the two. So you want to also make sure the stopwatch isn't activated, especially if you're rendering an animation, because this will give a random seed. So we're keeping it at 50 samples, and we're just going to turn on the denoising feature here. So under the render layer, go to denoising. Check that. We have a whole bunch of um, settings that we can change, but for now we're just going to leave it as a standard. Go back and give that a render. And again, I'll speed this up so you don't have to wait around. So as we can see already, it's made a, a big improvement, a massive improvement. So this is slot 2. If I change this to the first one, we can see there's loads of noise. Slot 2, it's just gone away. It looks really good. And that's just that 50 samples. I mean, obviously you wouldn't use 50 samples, you'd want it a lot more. I mean, it's added 27 seconds, I think, to the total time. So for just 27 seconds longer, you've got much, uh, a much better result. If we switch this to slot 3 now, obviously you won't render at 50 samples, you'd want much more. So I'd say a minimum of 200 is good. I'm going to turn that denoising feature back off. Just so we can see the difference between 50 with the denoising and then 200 on its own. Okay, so 200 samples, it's not bad, you can still see some noise, um, it's not perfect, but it's a lot better than the 50 samples. See, it doesn't look too bad, but it took 4 minutes and 59 seconds, whereas the first one was 1 minute and 59. So it's a big um, chunk of time added to everything. So even though that looks good, I'm going to do the same thing again, just turn the denoising feature back on. So this is 200 samples with the denoising. Give that another render. But what I'll do is skip forward so you don't have to wait around for that one. Um, but yeah, as you can see, with the denoising, it's, it's a lot better. It's definitely needed for an extra 20 seconds, 27 seconds or something. I can see it's definitely a big improvement. So overall, I think it looks much better. So these settings over here, you can turn on and off to what is denoise. But the main thing is the radius here. If you increase this, higher values will make it smoother, but you lose the detail. But if you reduce this, it will be not as smooth, but more accurate, if that makes sense. So 
a couple of sliders as well that you can uh, play around with. But again, from standard, the um, this this default setting works. So I've tried it on a few different things and I've not needed to change them. So um, it's hard to find an example where I did need to change these. So this new denoising feature is definitely um, a big improvement. It adds a little bit of time, but it gives you a lot of detail. So definitely going to be using this a lot in the future. Hopefully you guys will like this too. Um, as always, thank you for watching and until next time.